Cut the yellow straps to free the upper box. Remove all the parts and set them out on the floor. Open the panel on the box and remove the power cord and user guide kit. Then cut the yellow straps on the printer box and set the box top aside. Assemble the cross beam bar into the stand legs. Tighten the legs with the included wrench. Remove the printer cartridges and the screws and set them out. Remove the wrench from the bag of parts and tighten the legs. There is an L and R on the stand legs. Match those to the L and R on the cross beam. Tighten both sides. Secure the roll supports to the legs of the stand using four bolts per support. Extend the left and right rail until you hear a click. Carefully place the second roll unit onto the extended rails. Tighten the screws holding the roll unit to the stand. Remove the packing material and set aside. Then lift the printer onto the stand legs. There is a lineup pin where the printer fits onto the stand. Attach the printer to the stand using three bolts. Open the catch basket box and put the stack guides on the floor. Close the drawer and attach the stack guides to the bottom of the printer. Remove the bolts from the front of the printer stand, then open the rail covers. Insert the disks on the outside of the basket frame into the rails. Close the rail covers and replace the bolts. Unwind the basket cloth from the frame. Open the clips on the basket, insert the loops, and close the clip. Hook the loops on the sides of the basket to the pins on the stand. Route the cables through the cable guide and connect them to the printer. Pull the paper basket out so the stack guides fit into the slots. Hook the basket loops around the pins to secure in place. Plug in the printer and press the power button on the control panel. Select the language. Set the date. and set the preferred unit of measure. Install the print cartridges, ensuring that each clicks into place. Then close the ink cover. When you close the door, the control panel will go into action. It'll take about 20 minutes to charge the ink. To load a roll of paper, Slide the media adapters into the ends of the roll. Press the media button on the control panel and choose Load Roll 1. Press OK. Open the roll paper cover. Raise the roll lock lever. Slide the roll paper to the right and then back. Insert the end of the roll paper into the paper slot until you hear a beep. Lower the roll lock lever. Press OK to begin the paper loading process. If the roll stock is not plain paper, choose a paper type that most closely matches the paper loaded. Perform a test print by pressing the A button on the control panel, and then press OK to print a nozzle check pattern. If the test print has missing lines, run a head cleaning. Otherwise, press OK to exit. Perform a unidirectional head alignment by selecting the maintenance menu, choosing head alignment, and then pressing OK with Auto Uni D selected. This will take a few minutes to complete. 
perform a bi-directional head alignment by pressing OK, then Head Alignment, and then press OK with Auto by D selected. This completes the hardware setup. Call LexJet, your Epson printer specialist, at 800-453-9538 to learn more.